Hello everyone. How are you today? My name is Lady Goddess and I'm helping you find beautiful peace and clarity in your everyday life and in your situations. So what I aim to do is that through my readings, I want you to gain peace of mind so that way you can move your situations forward in a positive and healthy way. So welcome to my channel. Today's reading is how does your person truly feel about you? So I will be going deep into the energy of how this person is truly feeling about you the moment you're watching this reading. We're going to be going into love energy of your person, their current feelings, what is the next action that they're going to take towards you, messages from your person, and then lastly, advice. As always, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. So today I'm doing this reading in three different piles, and I absolutely love this deck. This is called the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle deck. Of course, all the decks that I use are in the description box below. So the first card is called Elegance. The second card is Truth. And the third is Luck. I will be using these cards just to give you an overall message from these particular cards as well that is set in the book because I do believe in doing that too. So that will be an also an added layer to your reading. So meditate and try to figure out where you're drawn most while looking at these cards. You can watch more than one pile if you have more than one person. However, I do not recommend watching the whole reading because you're going to lose the message from spirit. Sometimes it's not what you want to hear. It's what you're meant to hear. Okay? So take a deep breath. Meditate on the piles. And I'm going to get started on this reading right now. Welcome, beautiful souls, to Pile 1. The title of this reading is, How Does Your Person Truly Feel About You? We're going to be going deep into the energies and we're going to find out what is their love energy towards you? What are their current feelings as you're watching this reading? What is your person's next actions towards you? Messages from your person and then we're going to end with some advice. Okay, so you are all drawn to this beautiful card called Elegance. And I love this. This is called the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle. Again, all the cards that I'm using are in the description box below. So this is a beautiful card, the card of elegance. I'm just going to read from the book and then we're going to get into the reading because I do believe that these additional messages may or may not resonate. You might find something in what I'm going to say right now that has something to do with your current situation. Okay, so this beautiful card, Elegance, the flower represented here is called Lily, okay, and the butterfly is Archduke. Interesting. There is a Japanese proverb. Her standing figure looks like a Chinese peony. Her sitting figure looks like a tree peony, and her walking figure looks like a lily. The lily here perfectly depicts grace and elegance. Growing profusely throughout the northern hemisphere, these bursting blooms are varied in color and shape. With new strains created by gardeners every year, the white lily is a well-known symbol of elegance. And as the fleur de lis has been associated with heraldry, religion, and politics in France for many generations. This stylized lily was incorporated into the coat of arms of Joan of Arc's family, as well as many royal family crests. Look for beauty and grace in your everyday life and you will find it. You may see grace in the movements of an artist, in the curve of a flower, or in the innocence of a child. Notice the delicate nobility in motion or sound. Bring elegance into your life through attention to your appearance the way you carry out tasks, or the way you move through a room. 
brighten a room with flowers, put on beautiful clothing, and eat a meal of the fine, off the fine china. Adding some elegance to your life will elevate your mood and pull your attention to the beauty around you. What is elegant in my life? How can I bring more elegance to my world? Okay, so that is a beautiful message that Spirit wanted to tell you. Maybe you need to bring a little bit, um, just a little bit more elegance into your life, maybe a little bit more grace into your situations, no matter how tumultuous every situation um, might appear to you. Maybe there is an element that you need to be a little bit more calm, cool, collected. Maybe spirits trying to just give you the nudge that no matter what is going on around you, you are always keeping that crown on, right? And you are never faulting because you're going to always show the best version of yourself to other people. Okay, so let's get started this reading. I'm going to be using this beautiful oracle deck. It's one of my favorites. It's called the Lover's Oracle. And I want to pick out what is the current love energy right now coming from your person, okay, in this connection. So spirit, pile one's person. What is the current love energy right now, please, from pile one's person? What is the current love energy, spirit, from pile one's person, please? Okay. And it says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Okay. And this is the front of the card. And you can see the different cycles here in the trees, different seasons, which I think this is saying that there's going to be a lot of changes going on in this connection. What spirit really wants you to know, and mostly what your person's higher self really wants you to know, Pal One, is that sometimes it's it's hard for us to really allow the universe and allow the other energy to kind of guide us in the direction of where something is going. Sometimes, and I'm very guilty of this, we want to take control. Sometimes we want to have too much control, okay? What this is saying is, it's adding a lot of stress to your everyday life. That's why Spirit's saying to just be in your elegant um, attitude and to really just move with beautiful love and grace, okay? Allow things to unfold naturally here. So I am guessing that this is going to be a particular situation that is really um, going on in divine timing. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear about divine timing because it seems like forever. But this is one of those particular situations that things really need to fold unnaturally. Okay, The love energy that is being felt here is something that is meant to allow you to enjoy your experience along the way. Sometimes we want to know exactly how we're going to get to point um, C instead of really enjoying the journey of A and B. We just want to instinctively know how we're going to get to the end result. But the end result could be a journey that could be a couple of months. It can be a journey that could last years. And there might be some beautiful series of events that need to happen in your life along the way, okay? to get to your journey. So Spirit's wanting you to know, don't deny yourself the beautiful energy of life. Don't deny yourself the things that bring you happiness and joy. Just go with the flow and take every day as it comes to you with beautiful grace and elegance, okay? So I think your person right now is very much going with the flow. This person... Um, might be resisting some change in this connection. Um, I feel like your person might be very complacent as to where things are right now. Maybe the two of you are mirroring each other in some way where this person is feeling like a little freaked out because maybe things aren't going according to his or her plan and vice versa, okay? So I do think your person is again trying to take things day by day and I do think that that's also your message as well from spirit in regards to the love energy 
that is existing in this connection. So let's take a look at how your person is currently feeling right now as you're watching this reading for Pi 1. Okay, Spirit. How is Pi 1's person currently feeling towards them, please? How is Pi 1's person currently feeling towards them? Please give me the truth. Okay, so pile one, we have, ooh, my deck was, was it reversed? It was reversed. So we have the eight of pentacles reversed. Let's put that there. Okay. How is pile one's person currently feeling right now towards the spirit? Ooh. We have the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands, bottom deck energy is the Four of Cups. Okay, so I think right now I'm just going to put the Four of Cups Mm, okay, I'm just going to put the Four of Cups down here because that's the bottom of the deck energy. Okay, so right now your person is kind of in a state of reflection. And I think that's maybe why the current love energy here has to do about um, possibly resisting change, possibly allowing this connection to really flow very freely. Um, and it might be causing this person some stress, but I think right now your person really is reflecting upon things that have happened in this particular connection. Right now, I can see that this might be a no contact situation. The two of you might be in separation. Um, and if there is contact, it's very, very little, if, if anything. Right now, your person, I do feel, has retreated. Okay, I do think this person has pulled back his or her energy I don't think they're really putting the work in in this connection at the moment. They're taking a break, okay? And with this Four of Cups energy here, I think this person, if you look in this card, is taking a deep look into his or her own self. I think this person has been taking this break to really self-reflect, okay? Because in this particular Four of Cups, usually the Four of Cups shows a man sitting underneath a tree, already um, totally indulged, indulged in the three cups in front of him, but there's a fourth cup being offered by spirit and he's just rejecting it. But in this particular card, all four cups are there, okay? And they're all right in front of this person's face. But the person's not paying attention to the cups. They're paying attention to their image. So I feel like right now your person has taken a step back to really self-reflect, to heal, okay? I do think this person needs a lot of healing. Your person might have gone through something in the past that was very, very um, hurtful. They might have just gotten out of a marriage for some. They might have gotten out of a relationship. Something was really... Um, holding them back in the past. And I think that energy is still a little present in the everyday right now. I feel like your person is in a state of healing, okay? The positive news about this connection is that I see the three of wands here. So the three of wands can also mean that the two of you are at a distance, okay? So you might have a long distance connection or there just might be a very, very big at this moment, emotional distance in this connection. But I do think here with this Three of Wands energy, I am seeing this as your person feeling hopeful for the future, okay? So right now, your person is kind of pulled back. They might be silent. They might not be saying much to you. Their love energy is, um, they're trying to resist the natural progression of this connection. For the moment, um, they are trying to go day by day, 
I do think this person right now is more in a period of self-reflection than being focused on relationships. If you notice, I think this person might be withdrawn from a lot of people. I don't think this is just you, pile one. I think this person of yours has been withdrawn from maybe other family, friends, a lot of different situations. But with this three of wands here, I feel like this person is feeling hopeful that someday in the future, the two of you can either reconnect, the two of you can get together, and that things between the two of you can really start taking off again, okay? Because right now, I don't think this person is ready to take action. We're going to see what this person's next action is. But in their feelings, so far, they're not ready, okay? So even if this person is going to take, excuse me, some action going forward, I feel that you might have a false start because it seems to me like this person at this current moment in time may not really be ready to embrace this connection. And it's not because they're trying to hurt you. I think this person might have other things on his or her mind that they're trying to heal from and deal with first before um, they get themselves really entwined into a connection with another person, okay? So as you're watching this reading, this is the current um, energy right now as to how this person is feeling about you, okay? So now let's go into what your person's next actions are going to be, okay? So this is going to be their next action towards you. Okay, so Spirit, what is Pile One's person's next actions towards them, please? Pile One's person's next actions towards them. Okay, so we have the Hierophant. Pile One's person's next actions towards them is the Hermit. Okay, person's next actions towards him. Wow, the universe. So, so far, major arcana here, or arcana. And the bottom is the king of cups. Okay, so you might be dealing with a water sign individual, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now we are in cancer season as I'm filming this, but again, these readings are timeless, so it can change, okay? We're also seeing Virgo's energy here and also Taurus energy as well. Okay, so I'm seeing um, a lot of earth and then also some water. So your person's next action, for sure with this King of Cups energy here, and I wanna show you this card here, how this man has this cup of love. I do think that this person of yours does have emotions for you, pal one, okay? This person does have feelings, but he or she is keeping these feelings very much under wraps. This person is not allowing you to see what really is going on inside them. Because I told you right now, I think this person is more in a reflective mode, okay? So this person does have feelings, I don't see this person actually expressing these feelings in the near future. I feel like the next action this person is going to take is going to be one of reflection, reflecting on how he or she feels, reflecting on should I go forward and have a commitment with this person or should I end this cycle and move forward? I do think right now your person is on a spiritual journey, okay? So I feel like that right now your person might still, going into the near future, might still be quiet. You might not get a whole lot out of them. And for those of you that are in connection with this person, you might notice that this person is withdrawing a lot. When you see the Hierophant and the Hermit together, this is a very spiritual 
energy here. So I do feel that both of you have a very strong spiritual connection. Very, very strong spiritual connection. And also with the world here, the world has all the fixed signs here. Okay, so your person here, I do think is very stubborn. This person of yours is very fixed in their ways. So I do feel as well that this person here might really have a hard time in taking this connection and moving it to the next level. With the Hermit energy here, your person is very deep in thought, okay? Deep in thought about his or her emotions. They feel this very strong spiritual connection towards you. But I don't think right now this person is ready to take the next step in going towards you. And underneath these cards in the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So I don't see this person of yours, Paul One, taking immediate action towards you. They want to, but I think they're going to take the time to self-reflect first before they decide to open up those floodgates, to open up on how um, he or she is really truly feeling about you, okay? So this next action, I really would not take this to heart because this is only just the next action. This is now from like a month, maybe two months time at most. So if you find your person in a very withdrawn energy and you find them detaching from you, I think it's ultimately very necessary for this person to take a step back to really think about what it is they truly want in this world, okay? And how this person can really heal and close out chapters in their life that maybe are no longer serving them. Because you don't really want this person, pal, one to come towards you with energy that is not healthy, with energy that is going to really um, keep you held back in what you want from out of this connection, right? Because remember, we're all deserving of having a beautiful, loving connection. But I think this person is fully aware that they're just not ready. And instead of just closing the door, I do think they're taking their time and they're taking a step back, okay? Before they decide to really either open up those gates of love or to shut them out permanently, okay? So for the next couple of months, ooh, sorry about that, see? That's a sign. Sorry about that. That was a sign, I think, from spirit that that's exactly what they want, okay? Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of tea. So I do believe that for the next couple of months, it might still be a little quiet. However, your person definitely is in deep in thought about this connection. They're not tossing it aside but they're not moving forward, okay? I think your person wants to make the right move towards you and that's why they're taking their time to really think about things, okay? So let's take a look at some messages your person has for you at this moment and we're gonna be getting those messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what this person has to say. Okay, so call one's person, what would you like to say towards them right now? Call one's person, what would you like to say towards Pile one? I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, so there's another confirmation that a lot of you right now might be in separation, no contact. So this person is feeling your energy. I did feel that with the Hierophant and the Hermit. It was a very strong spiritual energies. Plus the King of Cups can also be very intuitive and very spiritual. I wouldn't be surprised if your person or you are both getting a lot of signs and synchronicities, telepathic uh, messages, dreams. What else does this person want to say to Power One, please, Spirit? I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, so this person might have some good news that is going on in their life right now, but they're deciding to keep quiet about it. Let's see what else. Ooh. Two of them went on the floor. Let's see. 
The first one is just being near you is intoxicating. Oh, that's nice. So your person definitely feels your energy on a very, very deep soul level. And then I also have, I wish I could take back my words. Okay. So there might be something here that your person has said to you in the past that they're really regretting now. Okay. It's going to be different for everyone watching, but there might be something here that this person really said that was very, very, just very, very hurtful. And now I think they're in this deep reflective manner where they're really saying like, should I really have said that? What is, was that the best thing that I really should have done to pile one? Okay, let's take a look. Let's go even further. Some more messages from Pile One's person, please, Spirit. I lost myself for a little while. Okay, so this person right now might be feeling a little lost. Um, and again, I think that's why this person is in a very deep, reflective matter at this moment. I think they're very much deep in contemplation. I did say earlier in the reading that this person might be kind of removed from a lot of friends and family. What else does this person want to say to you for Pile 1? I don't react when people mention you. Wow. Okay, so right now, if someone says your name, Pile 1, I think this person is just trying not to have any kind of reaction. They're trying not to be triggered. They're trying not to feel much. And I think the reason why this person is doing this is because they really want to clear his or her head in really having a clear picture. This person is trying to detach emotions, even though it's hard for them because they are coming up as the King of Cups. This person is trying to be more logical on how he or she truly feels about you. Okay, so this person is feeling that if they use their logic and they think clearly and they try to detach from the emotions, okay, then it'll be easier for them to really think of what they really truly want without putting emotions involved and what is best for them. So right now, this mess, these messages are basically saying that I do feel your energy even though we are apart. When I am with you or when I'm talking to you, I feel you. It's intoxicating for me. This person might have said something to you that deeply hurt you and they're realizing that that wasn't the right thing to do at the moment. And they're trying not to be very reactive when people mention you. And I think that's because they don't want to allow themselves to go down that path until it's a path that they truly, truly want to take, okay? Okay, so we're gonna end this reading here with some advice from Spirit for you on what you should do in this situation with your person. So Spirit, can you please give me some advice for pile one? And this tarot that I'm using is the Vagabond Wild Tarot. Please give me advice for pile one, please, Spirit. Their advice is the moon. How fitting, because right now I'm doing this in Cancer season, even though the moon is ruled by Pisces in Tarot. The advice for you is the Two of Cups and the Sun. Wow. Okay. With the Chariot. Okay. So, bottom deck energy is the Chariot. So, I do think Pile 1, your person, again, is very much deep in... A contemplative state over what they want to do in this connection regarding you the moon is telling me your person does have a fear okay again something could have happened to them in the past that made them really feel like they can't reveal their true selves to others um, they just might be really in a reflective state at this moment okay where your person is feeling like they kind of have to hold themselves back a little bit like they can't be you know their true true person or the they can't really be the true person that they really want to be around you however 
I like this advice because the advice is saying don't have fear. Okay? The fear that you have is just an illusion. Because you are always going to be connected with this person. And if it's not this person, you are going to be moving towards a beautiful romantic relationship with someone that is going to make you very happy. Okay? Because this fear of the moon is preventing you from having this two of cup experience, which I do believe you will have. You are moving towards personal happiness. But spirit does not want you to allow this particular situation to really determine how your day or how your life is going to play out. Spirit wants you to take what is going on right now, understand it, but work on your own individual happiness. Work on your own healing, okay? And do things that make you happy versus doing things that make other people happy. This is what spirit really, really wants you to know. Spirit does not want you to be focused on bringing the happiness to others. Spirit wants you to be focused on bringing the happiness to yourself. You will be gaining a lot of clarity, okay? Now, the chariot is also cancer season, so it's a Cancerian card, and the sun is ruled by Leo. Cups sometimes also mean summertime. So I feel in a few months during this time going into Leo season, I think you're going to be gaining a lot of clarity on what it is you truly want out of your life and what it is you truly want out of this situation, okay? So regardless, whether you are going towards this person or another, your end result is going to be in happiness. It is going to be in that soulmate connection that you are really yearning and wishing for. It is there for you, but the journey along that way might seem a little uncomfortable, but spirit does not want you to allow whatever is going on in this connection right now to hold you back from that happiness, to keep moving yourself forward so that way you can be truly, truly happy, okay? So that way you can really get what you feel is your true heart's desire, okay? Because you are deserving of it, okay? You're deserving of it. You are definitely um, not only deserving of it, but you are going to be so emotionally fulfilled that when you get to that point, when you are in this beautiful light energy of the sun, you're going to say, wow, this is why it happens this way. Okay. So there's a divine plan in place for you. And I think everything will work out for the best, but you're going to have to end these cycles. Okay. Of what you feel right now is holding you back End that cycle and start moving towards your own personal healing and happiness. And it may or may not be with this person. But Spirit is saying your advice is you're going to be happy regardless. Right? Remember, sometimes for me, pile two, I'm sorry, not two, pile two, pile one. Sometimes for me, when I truly am in love with someone and I realize that how was my life before I met this person? I was still, I was fine, right? That's how you have to see it. So for some, I do think you will be in a union with this person. For others, you might go in a different direction with the chariot and you might find your happiness elsewhere. But regardless, you will be happy. And that is what Spirit's saying is your advice, okay? Work on your own healing and happiness first, okay? So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. I am opening up personal readings again. Yay! So if you'd like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, okay? And it gave you clarity and peace of mind. Have a beautiful day, Pow Ones. Bye! 
Hello, beautiful pile two. So the title of this reading is, How Does Your Person Truly Feel About You? We're going to go into their current love energy, their feelings right now as you're watching this reading, the next action this person wants to take towards you, messages from your person, and then also some advice. Okay, so you chose this beautiful card called Truth. And this is from the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle. I am going to read what this card means. And it might, you know, by reading this card here, it might give you an idea pretty much on maybe something that you're dealing with right now in your life or that is going on in this connection. It might give you some guidance, okay? So I actually love reading from the book. So we have a card here called Truth. And the flower is called the bittersweet nightshade, and the butterfly is a morning cloak. Okay. Native to Northern Africa and Eurasia, bittersweet nightshade is an adaptable species that has spread across the world so successfully that it is considered an invasive plant in the United States. It does get its name from its leaves, which taste bitter and then sweet, but checking this is not recommended as they are toxic. Medicinal uses for bittersweet nightshade were recorded by the Greeks over 2,000 years ago. It is listed in Culpepper's Complete Herbal as a remedy for dizziness, sudden illness, and troublesome guest. The stem of the plant is still used to treat skin conditions. However, the flowers and berries are quite poisonous, and caution should be taken when trending these plants in a garden. As for its ties to truth, both can be quite bittersweet. The quest for truth is a journey that we all must take, and it can be painful. Once discovered, truth can be the compass that guides you through tough decisions and experiences. In your soul, you know truth to be the absolute tenant and personal pillar through which you may effectively govern your life. Identifying these principles means you have a yardstick for when you are faced with difficult decisions or ideas. You can then make decisions accordingly. Your truths will be reevaluated and tested throughout your life. The truths you had when you were younger might not be the ones you hold dear today. But once you find your truth, it is easier to be faithful to yourself. What are your main truths today? Okay, so what does this possibly mean for you and your situation? Okay, maybe this is a card saying that you are being called now to look at the truth of a situation, okay? Maybe you're needing to take a good look and see um, what is really going around um, your environment in your life right now. It could be talking about this situation. It can also be talking about other things in your life. Maybe you've been wanting the truth from this person about how he or she truly feels about you. Maybe you've been having a hard time dealing with getting the truth from this person maybe they haven't really been willing to open up to you about the truth of a particular situation okay maybe they've been um just kind of holding themselves back a little bit okay so i think maybe there's some truth that you really are wanting and seeking about this connection and about other things you might be thinking um a lot of different ways about how more clarity is needed in a lot of the different situations that you are dealing with at the current moment, okay? So I want to look into the love energy that your person is feeling right now towards you. And I'm going to be using the Beautiful Lovers Oracle. Again, all the decks that I use will be listed in the description box below. Okay, so let's take a look. And what is the love energy that is going on in your connection right now? Okay, so pile two's person, what is the love energy that is existing between pile two's person? What are they currently feeling? Pile two's person towards pile two. Okay. So we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay, 
So I do think there's going to be some sort of beginning, a new beginning, a passionate beginning, a spark that will really start to be felt in your situation. Your person is really wanting to change the status quo of what is going on between the two of you right now. They might feel this energy is stuck, stagnant. Maybe this person of yours too wants to know the truth of this situation. Maybe there's a truth that they've been holding back that they haven't been able um, to really tell you, okay? So maybe this is something that this person of yours is really wanting to talk about today, okay? So let's see right now how your person is currently feeling about you. We're going to be going into the current love energy right now that exists, their current feelings as you're watching this reading. So how are they currently feeling? And for that, I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot for your pile. Okay, Spirit, how does Pile 2's person currently feel towards them? Please give me the truth. Excuse me. How does Pile 2's person currently feel? Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, how does Pile 2's person currently feel towards them? The Nine of Wands. How does Pile Two's person currently feel towards them, Spirit? And the Empress. Bottom of the deck is the Hermit. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, especially a little Earth and a little Fire. Okay, how is your person currently feeling? Well, for starters, this person of yours is very, very much attracted to you. They think that you embody everything in all aspects of what this person really wants, okay? So they find you to be very attractive, confident, um, stable. They find you to be very loving and nurturing and giving. For some, you might be a parent, okay? You might be a mother or a father. Doesn't have to resonate with everyone, but for some, you might be. So you do embody pile two, everything that this person has always dreamed about having in regards to a person. The Eight of Swords is nice because I think maybe in the past, your person has been deep, deep in thought, stuck in their head about how they truly felt about you. They might have put a wall up, okay? They might have been deep in contemplation. So again, I feel for this pile as well, a little similar to pile one, that your person might be a little bit on the quiet side right now. There might not be a lot that they're talking about. But with this hermit card here, if you look at this, I do feel that even though this person might be contemplating, there is a very strong spark for you being felt between you and this person, okay? Very, very strong spark. So I almost feel here that with this Eight of Swords reverse and this Nine of Wands, your person is wanting to get out of this energy of being stuck, of being stuck in his or her head. They want to move this situation forward because remember their love energy is transformation okay so they want to end the cycle of maybe the two of you either being in separation or being in no contact or just maybe your relationship right now is going through a little bit of a rough patch they want to get out of this cycle okay they want to move this connection forward in a more positive and healthy way because the difference between your pile and pile one is I think you are a progression from the first pile, okay? I think maybe in the first pile, this person was in contemplation mode, but I think your person has already contemplated what they wanted and they decided that going forward, they want to move this connection. They want to grow it with the Empress. They want to be able to give more. So this person wants a reciprocity here. I keep being drawn 
to this beautiful Empress card. And as I said, the reciprocity, I saw 44, 44. So you might be seeing a lot of fours in your connection. You might be seeing just a number four. Four is the number of stability. So I do think this person wants to bring a lot of beautiful stability to this connection. They want to ground it. They want to grow it. They really are very drawn to you. I'm seeing this Empress card and I'm also seeing this head of hair, which to me is absolutely beautiful. I love this head of hair. So you might be a girl or, you know, a girl or a boy, you know, that has amazing hair. So your person might be very attracted to your hair. They might find it just to be very interesting, unique. If you're a woman, your hair is just beautiful and flowy. If you're a guy, you just have these beautiful waves to your hair. There's just something about the way you wear your hair or you style your hair that this person is very intrigued by, okay? For some of you as well, you might be having this person's child because this empress is pregnant. And that could be another reason why this situation is growing. It's deepening because you're bringing another energy into this. You're bringing another person into this mix, which is a beautiful baby. So for some of you, you are expecting with this person, not for all, but I think for everyone here, regardless of whether you're a mother, whether you're expecting this person does want to grow with you, they want to build this connection. They're feeling very loving, very giving. And I do think this fire has been very much ignited in them in regards to you. All the time they spent thinking about you, now I think they want to put it into some sort of solid action, okay? So let's take a look at the next part of the reading and see what is this person's next actions towards you. Okay, what are going to be their next actions? Okay, so here, what is this person's next action? So we have the Page of Swords. So your person might be spying on your social media, okay? They might be checking you out, liking to look at your photos, wanting to find out information about you, pal, too. Okay. What is pal, two's person's next actions towards them? The Ace of Cups, wow, this can be beautiful, heartfelt, emotional new beginnings. This could be a rebirth of the connection. Um, this could be maybe the two of you are loving each other for the first time. But I do think that there's going to be a stronger development. So whether you're just friends, this connection is going to go to another level. This person wants to take it maybe to a committed relationship. If you're committed, this person wants to deepen that bond. If you've been having problems, this person wants to reconcile with you, okay? They also want to communicate with you, and I do want to tell you something, and it's going to be very, very heartfelt. Sometimes I feel when this person communicates, pal, too, they might communicate with you in a very, what you seem to feel is a very immature way, but I do think that they're going to find the right words this time to say to you. Okay, so what are Pile Two's person's next actions towards them? Maybe they're gonna finally give you the truth that you've been seeking. Pile Two's person's next actions towards them. Oh my God, and the 10 of cups, wow. With the six of wands at the bottom of the deck, beautiful. This is a beautiful reading so far, pile two. Okay, so this person wants to tell you how they truly feel, pile two, okay? This is a person that is in love with you. They want commitment. You bring them emotional fulfillment and happiness. With the six of wands here, you make them feel like you are, you put them on a pedestal. You make them feel so special. And they absolutely love that about you, okay? Um, but not only that, they want to recognize you. So if this person has not been recognizing you or making you feel like you are special in his or her own world, I do think this person wants to start doing that. They want to show you just how much you mean to them, okay? So this person wants to open up the lines of communication if the two of you are not really speaking as much. 
They want to express feelings. You might be getting an offer of a relationship. The truth of the matter is they want to bring this to a deeper level of commitment, to a deeper level of emotion. They want to express emotions. You make this person feel so loved, so complete, so much happiness in his or her own feelings. They can see a future with you. They can feel that between the two of you, you guys can have it all. Again, you can see here with a baby. So for some, you might be expecting a child with this person. You might have a family with them already. This could be your husband or your wife. But for others, I just feel that the truth that this person wants to tell you is they love you and that they want to bring this beautiful, stable energy to you, okay? They want to give you this love. They want you to feel these emotions, okay? They want to give you everything that you have been wanting and then some. So I feel like this is beautiful energy. I feel like the two of you will be on the same page. You will feel very victorious here with the Six of Wands. So I see this person taking action based on love, action on coming towards you, bonding this connection with love, okay? Deepening this connection, transforming this connection. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. This person wants to deepen this connection. So I do feel this person for pile one, I'm sorry, pile two, is in love with you. They do see a future with you. They do want you, okay? They are very, very happy with you, okay? Or they want to be very happy with you. They want to bring you happiness. They want to bring you emotional fulfillment, okay? So this is a person here that if you've had problems with them in the past, I do feel one conversation here is going to change everything. So I see very positive movement going forward in this connection. Okay, I see a relationship deepening here. Possible engagements, proposals, um, first time relationship offers. Okay, people being vulnerable, opening up to each other is what I'm really, really seeing here. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to the next part of this reading and see what are your person's messages to you. Okay, so we're going to be using the Hidden Truth Oracle. So, Pile Two's person, what would you like to say? To them, what does this person want to tell you? You came closer than anyone else. Okay. So this person is wanting you to know that you are very close to them and you came closer than anyone else has ever gotten to this person. They've never allowed anyone to really get deep in their inner feelings, okay, or into their inner layers of their soul. But you have been able to go into that energy and into those depths, okay? I hid who I really am from you. So I think for a long time, this person wasn't honest about his or her true feelings towards you. They might have hid who they truly were from you. They might have never opened up about true feelings and emotions. They might have told you or kept you at arm's length that they weren't wanting a relationship. All this to kind of put you at bay. But deep down, this person has been loving you, feeling the love with you, okay? And they hid who they really, really were from you, okay? Let's see what else does this person want to tell you. Pile two, what would you like to tell this was? Pile two, this person want to tell them, please, spirit. Messages from the pile two, this person, please. Wow, I want to tell you how I feel. 
I can tell you triple confirmation. We have the truth card. We had the page of swords. We have, I want to tell you how I feel. So this person, pile two, wants to express to you how he or she is truly feeling about you right now. They want to open up the lines of communication and really express their love to you, okay? What else is Paul II's person want to tell? Paul II. I love you unconditionally. So this person loves you. Pile two, they love you unconditionally. And what this means is you might have a very deep soul bond with this person. Okay. It just seems that no matter what goes on in your own respective lives, this person just still has a very, very, very strong placement and a strong heart felt emotion for you. Okay. They do feel you on a very, very deep level. This person has a lot that they want to tell you. Okay. And they do put you up on that pedestal with the six of wands. When I looked at my tarot, I had the death card. So this is the same thing with transformation. One cycle is going to end and a new cycle is going to emerge between the two of you. Okay. So what else is Pile Two's person wants to tell them, Spirit? I hid behind material things. So this person you might have felt in the past was very materialistic. You might have felt that they were so egoic, just flashing behind things, very 3D, not living in a real true way in sense, um, or just not really living with meaning. Um, you might have felt this person was very superficial, but I do think now that this person might have had some sort of spiritual awakening because remember in the beginning of this reading, I did say that I felt like your pile is a progression from pile one. Okay. Where now this person has done the work, they've done the healing, they've done the contemplation and they're ready to take action. They're recognizing that maybe the way they were in the past was not necessarily the most healthiest way to be, especially in a loving connection. Okay. Let's see what else. What else does this person want to say? Pile two's person. I wonder if you're happy without me. Okay, so this person wonders if you are really, really happy without them. So maybe for some of you, you're in some sort of separation. Maybe you're fighting. Or maybe there's just a slight insecurity here that your person is feeling pile two that if I am not with them, would you be happy without me? Okay. So maybe this is why this person has not spoken their truth. They might be dealing with an insecurity of whether or not you could truly make them happy. I deep down, I do believe though that deep down you could make this person and you do make this person very happy. It's just their own insecurities here that I think are coming into play. Their own insecurities of can I be happy? with this person. Okay. If I'm with this person, can I give them everything that this person really, um, deserves, right? Is pile two going to really love me for who I am? Will pile two accept me if I open up and I'm vulnerable? Okay. So there's a lot of things that I think your person was pondering in the past, but now I think they've gotten to the conclusion that they would rather have you in their life and bring forward their true emotions than not have you at all and be upset for the rest of their life thinking what could have been. Okay. So, so far, I really like this reading. I'm going to end this reading pile two with some advice and see what spirit thinks you should do here in this connection. Okay. So now let's take a look at what advice does spirit have for you in regards to this connection. Okay, 
Okay, Spirit, what advice do you have for Pile 2 in regards to their connection? What advice do you have for Pile 2? The Page of Wands. What advice do you have for Pile 2 with their connection, Spirit? Page of Wands. The World. What advice do you have for Pile 2 in this connection, Spirit? The Empress. And the Queen of Cups. Okay. So, what advice I think Spirit is having for you in this connection is, I think, to be your beautiful, caring, loving, emotional self. Okay? If you've been feeling, and I don't know why I got this message, I'm getting it now in the last message of this reading, that this person has ever contemplated anyone else, so you feel like there might have been a third-party energy, I think that's coming to an end. So if you've been feeling like your person is talking to anyone else or out with anyone else, I think that cycle is coming to a close. What Spirit is saying is just to be your beautiful self. The Queen of Cups and the Empress are both pregnant here. So I do think that Spirit wants you to keep on moving forward, going towards your goals, achieving your dreams, taking care of yourself, having lighthearted energy with this person, and knowing that you're going to achieve your true happiness regardless. I do think the happiness here is going to be with this person though. Pile one was a little different. The end message was somewhat similar, but a little bit more evolved. Um, but I do think here, the main message is, is that you're going to find happiness. You're going to fe feel complete, okay? You're going to progress, I believe, in this situation. You're going to close out a cycle with this person and a new one is going to emerge. There's going to be a lot of growth. The birth of creativity, the growth of this connection, the birth of new ideas, everything. Okay, so I really feel here that spirit is wanting you to just be beautiful, lighthearted, carefree, Enjoy the moment in this connection, enjoy the energy, and just continue to just give that beautiful nurturing energy that you do give to others. Your intuition is at an all-time high, so whatever your gut is telling you about this connection, I do believe it's true. You are feeling very much at peace and very much um, at one with each other, okay? I do believe that you can have pretty much what you want with this person, but your own personal happiness and healing is all up to you. We all have free will. So you are the creator of your life. You write the script. Um, and if the script involves this person, which I think for 95% of you it will, you're going to have a beautiful, abundant future. Of course, we all have speed bumps, but overall it will be promising. If you write the script and you want to do something else, you're still going to have happiness. Regardless, I see you just relaxing. You might be taking a trip. Maybe some of you in this pile are planning a trip. Spirit is saying to have a great time on this trip. Enjoy yourself. You might find peace being out by the water, being on a beach. When I'm filming this, it is summertime for me, so you might be very fond of warm weather, beaches. You might live on an island or close to a coast. Or just really feel at one with the water or with the ocean, okay? But regardless, I do feel that you are going to go on a path towards growth, personal healing and happiness, success, and just overall feeling rejoice. In the past, you might have felt left out. Sorry. In the past, you might have felt left out in the cold by this person. You might have felt that things maybe 
were not moving in the way that you wanted them to. You might have held yourself back. You might have tried to put your emotions and feelings aside and tried to think more logical. But I do think because you've been moving forward on your path, you've been able to get yourself out of this energy and you're putting your own personal happiness first. And I think that energy is drawing your person closer to you because it's so inviting, right? The law of attraction, what you put out, you get back. But you've let go. I think for a lot of you, pal, too, you surrendered this connection, but you surrendered it in a way where it is something that you knew because a lot of you, I think, are very spiritually evolved. You know deep in your heart that what is meant for you will come to you, okay? So I think you've been very happy with the way your life is at this moment. And going forward, I'd see more happiness, more exciting moments, maybe some traveling, some growth in your life, some abundance coming your way, okay? Especially during cancer season, because I see this woman with the crab here. So I am filming this in cancer season, but remember this reading is timeless. But the summertime is going to be very important for you in this connection whenever you're watching this reading, okay? So that concludes this reading. If this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. When you're subscribing, don't forget, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And I am back doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading, please reach out. All the information is in the description box below. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed this reading. It was so beautiful, gorgeous energy, and I wish you nothing but beauty and luck, beautiful luck going forward. Okay. Bye. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to the third pile. The title of this reading is, How Does Your Person Truly Feel About You? So I'm going to be going into love energy of your person. What are their current feelings when you're watching this video? What are their next actions? Some messages from your person and also some advice, okay? So you chose the third card, which is the beautiful luck card. And this is the Enchanted Blossoms oracle deck again all the decks i'm going to be using will be in the description box below and i'm going to read from the book on this card because you might get some meaning you might actually get a message from the book that can be quite helpful in your everyday life right now or regarding this situation okay so let's get started luck the flower is bells of ireland and the butterfly is by color Commodore, okay? So, despite its common name, this tall stalked flower originated in the Eastern Mediterranean and is a member of the mint family. Bells of Ireland are used to cut flower arrangements and as a backdrop in gardens because of their height. They gained popularity during the Victorian era due to their association with luck and were often given to those in need of a windfall. Luck itself is cloaked with mystery and superstition. Sometimes we think the only luck we have is bad luck. And when someone gets a lucky break, their success is attributed to chance rather than all their hard work leading up to that point. The truth about luck is that we must be ready for when it happens. Be open to unplanned situations and experiences that may become fortuitous occasions. Being in the right place at the right time often comes from planting the seeds that led you there and being ready to seize an opportunity when it comes. Luck is showing its face here to tell you to be more open and to listen for everything that may be nudging you in the direction of your dreams. Be vigilant, ready, and keep planting. So, what situations can I create to attract more luck? So it seems like to me, pile threes, that you might be manifesting right now. You might be putting out in the universe things that you want, wish list. You might be trying to attract more abundance in this situation or in your everyday life. You might just be a lucky person in general. Hold on, I'm just going to take a sip of tea. Okay, but regardless, I do feel that you are on a path of personal 
happiness or trying to really grow that for yourself and bring it to you. I'm very proud of my collective because basically in all three piles, I do think that a lot of my collective right now actually has done a lot of healing, okay, and a lot of work. So I do think that you are really trying to bring a lot of happiness to you, okay, and that is very, very important, pile three. So right now, let's go into the love energy of your person. I'm going to be using a beautiful oracle deck, one of my favorites called the Lover's Oracle. So let's see, what is your person's current love energy? So Spirit, what is Pile Three's person current love energy towards them? Okay, Pile Three's person. What is their current love energy? I think maybe Spirit wants this card right here. Okay, so let's see. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Okay. And then here is the card right here. As I'm saying that, it's 111. So you might be seeing a lot of 11s. Okay, 1111, 111, 11, 1. You might be seeing a lot of those, okay? So power, you instinctively know what is right for you and to have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So look at this card. Look at the way these people are embracing each other. There's a serpent, I think, around here. So maybe your person right now is thinking about what is right for them. Maybe they instinctively know about you in this connection. Maybe your person right now holds a lot of the power in this connection. Okay. Maybe right now they're deep in thought over what they should do about this connection. Okay, so your person might be that kind of person that knows what he or she really, really wants out of life. Okay, so I want to now find out what are your person's, your person's current feelings right now as you're watching this video, Spirit. So what are Pile Three's person's current feelings right now for them as they're watching this video? The Seven of Swords. What are Pile Three's person's current feelings right now as they're watching this video? Oh, two came out. The Three of Pentacles. And strength. Bottom is the Six of Cups. Okay, what are this person's current feelings? The Seven of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, strength. Okay. I think right now your person might be very deceptive on the fact that they do miss you. They do want to reconcile with the six of cups here. They feel very strongly for you, but you don't know that because I think this person is wearing a mask. We have strength here. So that's Leo energy. You might be a Leo. Or this person might be a Leo. Regardless though, I do feel that this person is being dishonest in a sense and this is maybe why they hold the power here because maybe they're not being truthful about how they really feel about you. They know, but you don't know. So therefore, you have to play your cards a little bit differently than this person because this person can hold the key to either allowing this connection to grow or just letting it fall apart. Okay? Because this person here knows exactly what he or she wants. They know that they want to build here but they're not allowing you to see that because they're still holding themselves back. The seven of swords is saying that someone here is being very sneaky, deceptive, wearing a mask. 
not being truthful, not being honest. Okay, we also have the three of wands here. Your person might be wanting to take some future action towards you. But I will tell you, I'm seeing a lot of threes here. Okay, a lot of threes. So there might be a third party involved here. And that's maybe why this person, even though they love you, with the Six of Cups, they miss you. They have to hold themselves back. There might be a reason why this person cannot express how he or she is truly feeling. Okay, that will be for some of you. For others, this person can see maybe in the future having a reconciliation. But for right now, they're not being honest about how they truly feel. They're holding themselves back. They're not wanting to build because they can't do it at this moment in time. They still need a little bit more time. But the end result is, is that they do feel this love for you, this soulmate connection with the Six of Cups. I almost feel like this person thinks that you are a mirror of theirs, that you two have a lot of stuff in common. You might be a reflection of each other. For some of you, you might be twins, okay? Because this girl is looking in the mirror. It's like when you look at your person, you see a lot of you in them and vice versa, okay? And I think that this really does freak out your person, knowing that there is such a profound connection, that the two of you, I think, are triggering each other, okay? You're triggering healing within each other, but you're also triggering your own insecurities as well, is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so I do feel here that there is a want and a need and a desire for the two of you to reconnect, but this person right now is not doing this. They're not ready to offer you. They might not be talking to you at this moment in time with the King of Wands and the Hangman. I'm just splitting the deck as I'm talking. This person has the desire. They're very attracted to you, but they're not taking the action here. They're holding out for a better time, for a future time. And it might be because there's another person involved here for some of you. For others, they're just not ready to take that leap of faith. So they're doing what we say is a stalemate. You might find that your person is playing games with you, although you do feel a very strong spiritual connection. I also feel that you might think this connection is taking forever and ever to get to the next stage. So you might feel like this connection is just too long of a wait for you, okay? Luck might come to you because maybe you'll have um, a lucky break, okay? Maybe you'll have a lucky break. Maybe you will... Um, Maybe you'll have a lucky break where you'll break free from this connection or maybe this person will finally indulge and let you know how he or she is truly feeling. But I think that this person is keeping this mum because they plan on expressing in the future, not at this moment. Okay. Okay. So now let's take a look at what are your person's next actions towards you. For pile three. Okay, so what is pile three's person's next actions for them? The four of cups. What is Pile Three's person's next actions towards them? Well, Pile Three's person's yes, next action. The Ace of Cups. What is Pile Three's person's next actions towards them? Please, Spirit. The Ten of Pentacles. Bottom is the Page of Wands. Okay, so I do think in the past, Pile 3, you might have offered this person a commitment. You might have told them you wanted commitment. 
And I think in the past, they might have rejected your cup. Maybe this is why you're very frustrated. You're hoping to have a lucky break here. But I think regardless of what is going on in this connection, Pile 3, I do feel that a lot of you are still trying to remain positive about your future, about what you want, and about whether or not it's going to be with or without this person. But regardless, you are holding um, some positivity in your life. Now, when I see this Four of Cups energy here, I just feel like this is a very much like an apathy kind of energy, like your person is... I can take it or leave it kind of attitude. Maybe your person has in the past felt like a lot of people have had a lot of expectations of them, like they had to withhold a certain image and act a certain way. And now I feel like this person is not really wanting to do that. Your person is wanting to kind of do their own thing. I do feel here that deep down, your person does see you as someone they can have a long-term commitment with, someone that they do have great conversation, that they can open their heart to, but they're just not accepting that cup at this moment. Right now, they're just sitting in a state of seven of swords, in a state of apathy, like letting this opportunity pass them by. We have the three of swords here, so for a lot of you, I do think there is a third party here. I think that maybe this person could either be in a long-term commitment with someone else. They might be married. They might have a child. And this might be very hurtful for you to um, have to endure because I do think you do care very deeply about this person. But at this point, it's like you almost just don't know what to say, what to think, what to do in regards to this person. I don't see this person taking immediate action towards you, Pile 3. I'm gonna be very honest. I feel like this person, even though they know that you are accepting their, um, you are giving them a cup, of, a cup of love. I feel like right now they're not accepting it. They're holding back. They're not allowing you to be deep into their life. They might see you as someone that they can have something with in the future, but I feel like right now they're just being in a state of, I know Pile Three's cup is there, but I'm not ready to embrace Pile Three's cup, either for their own personal reasons or just because for a lot of you, I think they can't because they have other commitments that they have to do and they have to kind of withhold that commitment, okay? Um, and for some of you, I'm hearing if this person does have a child with a page of wands they're putting their child foremost and first so this person really does care about his or her children or child and really might be very much just wanting to just put that first in their life your person might just be focused more on family than versus relationships okay if your person is in a relationship with someone else, they're focused on that relationship. Regardless if they have a child, they're focused on that. But I do think overall your person is focused on his or her own life or their, his or her own family. And they're not looking to it, they're not looking to take this cup at this moment in time. Okay. The emperor here, I'm splitting the deck. I do think your person for a lot of you is a father or a mother. They're holding on to the situation, but they see this as something in the future. They know that they have to come towards you. It might be a struggle to come towards you, okay? Because I think maybe by the time that they're ready or that they can possibly come towards you, you might kind of cut them off as well. Because I do think this person has been making you wait for quite some time, okay? So future action or next action, really, I don't see this person taking any real physical steps in your direction that would be very conducive to moving this situation forward. Again, I think this person, unfortunately, is holding a lot of the power in this situation. And you, I think, with luck, are being called to just Enjoy your life. Open up doors for yourself to happiness. There might be happiness for you waiting on another door. 
Okay, so let's see what this person's, what their messages are for you. So Spirit, what is Pile Three's person's messages for them? What does Pile Three's person want to say to them? You and I were too young, so you might know this person, like I said, for a very long time. I feel like this has been going on for a long time. Maybe in the past you two did have a romance and they couldn't embrace it. They love you. See, this didn't come out for any of the other piles. So there is a feeling here. Remember that Ace of Cups was there. But for some reason, this person is just feeling like the timing here in this connection is just not right for the two of you at this moment. What else does Pile 3's person want to tell them, Spirit? I left you before you could leave me. Okay. So this person might have walked out. This might be a breakup situation. We might be asking about an ex. Okay. Remember, you instinctively know what is right for you. You have the power to say no or walk away at any time. So maybe this is spirit saying you are on a lucky streak in your life because you will be gaining the knowledge that you need to have a healthy connection for yourself. And you might be instinctively knowing that this is not it for you. This person might have left you. They might have gone into another connection, which then could have really have hurt you. Okay. So let's see what else this pile three's person want to tell you. Okay, hold on, I'm sorry. It's a chair creaking. I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, so there's definitely, I feel, a separation going on right now between you and pile threes. Pile three, I think there's a separation going on. I do think that this person... Um, might really be with someone else you need to let e you need we need to let each other go so I think that this is really your person saying to you through this reading that maybe it is time to move forward it is time to transform take the luck that spirit is giving you because that door might open and give you the best relationship of your life pile three but you might not be aware of it right now because you might be just too involved with this person. And you might not be wanting to open up those floodgates and allow your heart to feel for someone else. But I think what this person is saying is that I know that I left you. Maybe, you know, back in the day, the connection that we did have, we were very young. But right now we kind of do really need to let each other go. Right now is not maybe the best time for you and this person. Okay. Timing is not right. Maybe this person feels that in the future the two of you can have a reconnection. But their messages to you right now, Pile 3, are saying that now is not the right time for this. Now would not be a good time for the two of you to have a relationship. Ooh. So everything is falling here. So you might be feeling like your life is falling apart, but I'm going to tell you luck is on your side. So sometimes blessings, this could be a blessing in disguise. And you might right now be thinking, how is this a blessing in disguise? It might really be a blessing in disguise because you might really love this person wholeheartedly and be afraid to let them go. And the next thing you know, you might open up your life to meet someone new. You might open up your heart again. And then you might actually meet someone that is 100% everything you've ever wanted. But you wouldn't know that until you let this go. Okay? So right now you are going through a very good time in your life. Things will be looking really up for you. Not with this person I'm feeling, unfortunately. But you will be blessed in some way, Spirit is saying. So let's take a look at some advice for you in regards to this connection.
So, let's take a look. What is some advice for pile three? Okay, give me some good advice for pile three spirit. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles. And this is the, in case you're wanting to know, the message deck we're using was the hidden truth oracle. And this is the modern love tarot. All the decks I'm using will be in the description box. Okay, so you have the seven of pentacles. What well, else is some more advice? The pile of three, please, spirit. The king of wands. What is some advice for pile three? The sun. And the devil. Okay. So your advice is to take your life and build upon it. Okay. Remember, the king of wands is very much about power. So this oracle message here might very well be a message for you too. You instinctively know what is right for you, pile three. With the sun here, you hold the key to your happiness. I do think the devil is saying that you know that this connection is toxic for you right now. You know that there's a lot of toxicity here. You know that right now this is not something that will be very fruitful or healthy for you. But at the same time, the sun is the happiest car in the deck, pile three. So happiness is coming to you. And I love this because every single pile had a reason to smile from spirit. Their advice was so uplifting. So you all are going to be coming into some sort of state of happiness and peace, acceptance, okay? And I think with the seven of pentacles, you're going to start investing in your own self and investing in your own happiness, taking charge of your life. Okay, take charge of your life, take charge of your own happiness, invest in your own happiness. For some of you, you might also be a parent. You might find happiness in your family as well, just like this person. I said, I feel like the two of you are very much mirrors of each other. And the devil energy is just saying that again, you know that this situation is just not really serving you at this moment in time. But don't be you know, afraid. Don't feel like you have to be, um, don't feel like you have to live a life of sadness and live a life of regret because deep down you really do hold the key to your happiness. Okay. You are the person that is responsible for you, for what you do, for what you bring to the table. I do see you growing your life. I see you taking action. I see you investing in things that are going to make you happy, doing things for you that put a smile on your face. I see with this devil card here that you're going to be working on getting past any kind of toxic energy that might have been holding you back in the past because now you are seeing clearly with the Ace of Swords and with the Queen of Swords, you are now not going to put up with any BS. You are going to be thinking logical, cutting out anything that does no longer serve you and putting in the work in things that do serve you and things that do make you happy and things that you know will bring you emotional fulfillment, okay? So spirit is saying going forward, spirit is seeing you actually taking charge, you taking the power back in this situation, bringing the happiness and love back to you, you taking the luck that the universe is offering, whatever it is that you've been manifesting and now bringing it to reality. Let this person be. Because there might be something so beautiful 
on the other side of that new door that you might be going towards that you're going to say to yourself, why the, did I even bother? Okay? Why did I even bother dealing with this person? There was no point because my happiness is so profound now. I'm seeing things clearly. I'm seeing what I was lacking and how much more I am deserving of that I think at the end of the day when you really take stock and think about things, you're going to recognize how your happiness was being evaded and how you really um, were putting yourself last. And when you start really getting to that point, you're going to get angry and say, no, you're not even going to be the queen. You're going to be the king and say, absolutely not. I'm going to keep my crown on. I'm going to take charge of my life. I'm bringing myself happiness because the person that matters the most here is me. And if I'm not smiling every day from this situation, then I don't deserve this situation because the situation does not deserve me. Okay. And that is what I think spirit has been trying to tell you and I think is what your real hardcore advice is in regards to this situation, okay? So now I'm going to leave this reading as is. I think that's pretty much enough of what spirit was saying. And if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. When you are subscribing, do not forget to... Okay, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I go live and upload. And I'm also doing personal readings again. So if you want to book one, all the information is in the description box below. I hope that I gave you a lot of clarity, a lot of peace of mind in your situation. Okay, and I really hope that you find peace in your heart to know what you are deserving of and know what you should only be accepting. Now, this person does see you as someone in the future that they can reconcile. So there might be things that right now the two of you need to go at alone. Maybe you both need to have different individual experiences before the two of you can reunite. There's different situations for a lot of different people, but I do feel that ultimately you are gonna find your happiness no matter what, okay? So I love you all, Pile 3. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.